Hi, this is Kathy Hopkins with Red Carpet Report, and we're here at the Paley Center for a farewell to FX's series, The League. Hello. Hello, how are you doing tonight? Hey, thanks, how are you? Fantastic, thanks for asking. So, uh, the, the character of Jenny on the show, amazing actually. Yeah. I, I love from the beginning, like she is actually feeding the, the tips and everything, and technically is co- on the team. It turns out you don't need a penis to play fantasy football. Wait, what? Yeah. I know. It's a secret the guys have been keeping from us for many, many years. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Just want to keep the fantasy to themselves. The penis is like has nothing to do with it, actually. Anyone can play. It's like video games or something, too. Yeah, it's crazy. So, don't tell anyone I told you that. <laughs> now, uh, what does it feel like playing such a, actually a very strong, hilarious character? Um, honestly, it was like crazy, empowering, and very exciting, and um, really changed me a lot as a person, and I feel very lucky to have gotten to play that character for seven years. Yeah. She's super amazing and hilarious, and even the, the stuff with Shiva, like when she realized that she could actually you know, help her own yeah. team, my goodness, like yeah. the, the slight fantasies and everything. Yeah, 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 I'll make out with her, I don't care. I'm fine. Fantastic. I mean, you know, for the, for the team. Especially, you know. Yeah, of course, yeah. for the team. It has nothing to do with the fact that she is a gorgeous woman. Super hot. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Doctor and everything. Yeah. 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 Whatever. Yeah. Now, um, being also the strong female character, do you probably find uh, there's any sort of issues of backlash or that stuff from the public? Or yeah. I, someone just tweeted. I actually, because every now and again I'll search Jenny at the League on Twitter, and this amazing lady tweeted, I hate. Jenny from the league. She is like such a bad mom and the way she talks and like emasculates her husband like is not setting a good example for her children. Mind you, the girl's profile had a picture that says, eat a dick. I am not joking you. I was like, okay, cool lady, thanks. Maybe she found a good restaurant where she'd get a good dick, you know? Thank you for your parenting tips for my fictional children. Great influence on children yeah. everywhere, I'm sure. Yeah. By the way, Jenny and Kevin's children are assholes. <laughs> Side note, Twitter girl, those kids didn't stand a chance. I have to admit, uh, my kid actually caught an episode of the seven, season seven. Oh God, I'm so sorry. How old's your kid? He's ten, actually. Okay. So just shy of. I know. I've got a lot of nephews, which is like awkward. Yeah. They're all like in junior high and high school, yeah. and if they don't watch it, their friends watch. It's all. It's a lot. You know, if the kids aren't going to learn somewhere, they're going to learn from the league. You know, from the league. Yeah. Better than the streets, yeah. I guess. Yeah, that's what the kids who play our kids on the show what their parents think. <laughs> now, have you ever uh, had any of your nieces, nephews, or anyone like actually say something they really shouldn't have in front of you, just like what Ellie was dealing with? Um, I, I didn't have anyone say anything specific except for, I went. My husband, who plays Pete on the show, we went back to our old apartment in New York, right? And we were in the backyard. Like, we were friends with the landlord still, and they brought us in the backyard. And he used to babysit for the kids next door. And this kid, when I babysat for him, he was like five. The kid, like, pumps up over the, the gate, and he's like six feet tall now. He's like, oh, God, is that Katie? Katie, I've been watching the league. I've seen you in your underwear. And I was like, oh, my God. Oh my God! Okay, well, sorry. Yeah, no, it's, it's it's for entertainment. <laughs> yeah, it's super, me and my underwear actually is incredibly yeah. entertaining. <laughs> no, you know the kids are actually pretty amazing like that. They'll just they have no filters. Yeah. It's, no. And no. That's what I think I love with the Ellie character too is that she was just out there with the words like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she like, was. So are the parents. I think we may have, like have to pay for Elena's therapy. <laughs> It's a it's a, uh, a tax deductible expense, I'm right? sure. I, I think FX is not like responsible. I don't know if I am personally for playing her mom. So it's a longer conversation. Now, do you have any uh, anything you're particularly going to really miss about the show? It seems I will like you had miss great the cast tremendously. Yeah. yeah, these guys are wonderful and sweet, and this uh, whole experience was truly like lightning in a bottle. And I don't think that it will ever be replicated in the same way and I really like we sort of came to each other all at like the right times in our lives and it was really special. Please tell me, John was saying something about that there was a fight club at the end of each week of taping so tell me that you you owned that whole thing. John was pulling your leg. What? No, never. No, it's true. It's true. That's just ridiculous lies. No.
<laughs> awesome. Do you have anything else to look forward to right now as well? Yeah, I know. I've got um, an arc on Togetherness, the second season of Togetherness on HBO coming up. That'll premiere in February. I just wrapped a um, big comedy with Ed Helms and Owen Wilson called Bastards, which was really fun. Um, and then I did a Gus Van Sant movie with Matthew McConaughey called Sea of Trees, which was really awesome. Yeah. I can't wait to see all of that. I'm excited to see the screening tonight, too. I know, me too. Oh. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, exciting. Well, right. Thank you so thank much. You. Have a good Bye -bye. night. Thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe for more interviews. And in the comments below, let us know who your favorite character of the league was.